Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a great comfort food recipe that's also healthy. Today I'm making vegan chili using chickpeas. Frankie, this one's for you. Let me show you what I got here on my ingredients. I got here, these are the chickpeas. I cooked these in a pot um, for about an hour till they're just tender, right? Not too mushy. I want to have some, some consistency, some texture. I'll explain that later. And I kept a cup of the cooking liquid here. So that's what this is. To that, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of this vegetable uh, stock base for extra flavor. I got my aromatic vegetables here. Now, you could use whatever you want. I just chopped half a large uh, bell pepper, um, one of each color, red, yellow, and orange. I got about one medium onion, rough chop. I chopped up some celery, about three stalks. And I left the leaves there. The leaves have nice flavor. And then three cloves of garlic, I just peeled them and left them whole. I got salt, pepper, olive oil, and then I have my canned goods here. I got three different types of beans. You could use whatever you want for uh, extra flavor. Um, I have red, I have black, and I have white. Uh, I got a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I have a large can of diced tomatoes, that's a 28 ounce can. And I have one can of corn that's gonna add some sweetness and then uh, I have my spices already set up. I'm going to show you what, what I'm using to flavor this chicken. Right, so here's my spices. I laid them out here on a piece of wax paper so you could take a screenshot if you want. And I got a teaspoon each over here. I got garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, cumin, paprika. I got two tablespoons of chili powder. Now all chili powder is not the same. So if you're not sure, start with half. Start with a tablespoon and, and go from there. But all chili powder is not the same, so yours might be a lot more spicy than mine. I got a quarter cup of brown sugar, and that's going to add a nice sweetness to it and a real good depth of flavor. And I have an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, which is optional. And I have one packet of this Sazon uh, cilantro and achiote flavoring agent. Really, really good. So those are my spices. Let's get started. I'll show you how to make the chili. Listen, here's a tip. If you don't have access to all these different spices or you don't have room to store them you could just go to the supermarket and they sell the chili seasoning kits you could just buy one packet it's for one time use and it works great all right so I'm adding my chickpeas to my food processor here and the reason I'm doing that just let me explain is really all about texture so what I'm trying to accomplish here you can leave the chickpeas whole it's fine but what I'm trying to do is achieve texture similar to what you would get if you use chopped meat and ground it up and browned it in a regular meat chili. And that's what happens when you pulse it up in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, just use a potato masher or something, whatever you can to kind of break up the, the chickpeas a little bit and you'll be surprised. It makes all the difference in the world. So I'm just gonna pulse this a few times. I'll show you what it looks like. Let me just show you what this looks like. And this is what we're looking for. You can see some, some big pieces, small pieces, just a really nice crumbly texture. All right, so we're ready to get cooking. Nice big pot here, at least an eight quart pot is what you want. I'm gonna put in a couple tablespoons of olive oil and then my vegetables go right in. I'm gonna to start to saute these about five or six minutes till they start to soften a little bit. Before I mix my vegetables, I'm gonna season for the first time. Nice pinch of kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Give this a good stir. For five minutes, my vegetables started to soften up a little bit. I'm going to add my chickpeas, just like this. And I'm going to cook them for a few minutes, just like you would add chopped meat if you were making a regular beef chili. Right, so just saute the chickpeas with your aromatics for a few minutes. Next thing we'll add is the tomato sauce. And then the diced tomatoes. I'll just give that a stir. And this is my uh, stock, my vegetable stock and chickpea liquid. You know, I found some, uh, I had an extra a half a can of crushed tomatoes in my fridge. So I'm just going to throw them in. And this is a good way, if you got like a half a bottle of jar sauce or something laying around, if you're making a pot of chili, it's a great way to use it. So I'm just going to add this as well. All right, so I'm ready to season again. Just a pinch of kosher salt, a little bit more fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to take the packet of sazon. I'm going to add that as well. Just throw that right in. And then the rest of my spices, I'm going to just take them right on this paper here like this. Pick the whole thing up 
and just add it right into the sauce. So I'm going to stir in all these spices just like this. I want to bring this to a boil. Just be careful you don't burn it. I'm going to reduce it to low and I'm just going to let it simmer before adding the rest of the beans for at least 30 to 45 minutes. I'll stir it every 5 or 10 minutes. Just make sure it's not burning. Alright, so this is boiling. I'm going to give it one final stir. Drop it down to low and let it simmer. Alright, so 45 minutes and this is what it looks like and the sauce has cooked down. Everything's nicely combined. And now it's time to add the beans. Alright, so I like to rinse and drain my beans. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them now. And the reason I don't add them at the beginning is because I don't want them to get too mushy and just fall apart. So I'm going to add them, give them a stir. And at this point, what I want to do is, this is a nice time to test for seasoning. So I mixed in my beans. I'm just going to take a little ladle of the beans and the sauce. And I'm going to let this cool. And I'm just going to taste it. I want to check for seasoning. So if I need more spice or more sweetness, I can add it. Uh, I'm just going to let this cool off for about five minutes. Mm. Really good. You know what? I don't think it needs anything else. It's nice and spicy, but a little bit of sweetness from the uh, brown sugar. But it's not too spicy, not too salty. I think it's perfect. So I'm going to put the lid back on here. And I'm going to let this simmer low and slow for at least another half hour, 45 minutes. And the longer you cook it, the better it gets. And then right at the very end, we'll add the corn. So about an hour and a half, my chili's done. And then right at the very end, I'm just going to add the corn and we're ready to serve it. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do optional, I'm just going to finish this with a little bit of hot sauce. This is Frank's Red Hot. And I'm going to plate it up. So my chili's ready. I plated it up very simple with just some avocado slices. But you could add cilantro, some lime juice. You want to top it with cheese. You could make it with rice. Whatever you want. I'm just going to give it a try. And it came out really, really good. Packed with flavor from all the different spices that we put in it. So it's, it's super flavorful. It's sweet. It's spicy. And the flavors are really complex because we gave it enough time to simmer and develop an hour and a half cook time. And the real key to this is the textural component of the chickpeas. You know, cooking them first and then breaking them up a little bit in the food processor so you get that ground meat consistency. It tastes like you're eating a regular beef chili. Really, really good. So if you're a vegan, you're gonna love this one. You definitely gotta try it. And I hope you'll like it. And again, you can tweak up the spices however you want. So enjoy, and thanks for watching the video. And hey, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.